tournament as we welcome you to Champ Week, presented by Principal and the Air Force Reserve American Athletic Conference Men's Basketball Championship. First game of four today, the number eight seed, USF Bulls, taking on the number nine seed, UConn Huskies on the lineup. Well, he is absolutely the most talented player on UConn. Some nights doesn't show up. He's now healthy. He played a good game against East Carolina on the weekend. Dan Hurley is going to ride Jalen Adams today and through this tournament. Carlton. Big time rebound by Carlton. But UConn has to be aware. They've got to pass the ball, move around, hit the open man. Terrence Smith and the first points for the Huskies here today. Collins rejected by Carlton. Gregory is winning early at USF. That plus nine is just saw a tie for fourth best in the nation, Division I, and turnaround. Smith gets the bounce. Adams comes out that 13 point, 12 assist game just a few days ago at ECU in the regular season finale. And now again, it's Terrence Smith. He used a lot of passing, a lot of player movement, and try to move the ball before the defense moves. But off the bounce, it's an owner. Nice look for three from Adams, and that's his first points today. Uh, you can see Brian Gregory is a smart coach. There's a double dribble that was missed by the officials. And Brian Gregory. Is going right at Cobbs. I'm very impressed with his comeback. At some point, they said earlier in the year, earlier in his injury, then on cue and knocks in another one that's taken by another player, other than those two here so far in 10 minutes. And that'll stay the case. Adams misses. There's the follow, though, by Whaley. Job. He's been a bit player pretty much all season long, but Dan Hurley with the foul trouble has gone with him instead of Eric Cobb at the five and paying dividends with some good energy at the rim. Coach has done a good job here in the first 11 minutes. What did you try to do when you were coaching in these type of tournaments? Do you try to plan ahead a little bit like that, like you just mentioned? Or wow, what a shot here from Vital. So he'll be out there practicing with the team. He still gets after it. Vital, another three. Count it again. He's fired up. It's a six-point lead. UConn is on a 17-6 run. Uh, a hot, cold man here. You give him that. It is lights out. Vital playing with confidence. Kelly. Start to this game for him for UConn. Smith for three. Count it again, and UConn is already at their season average of three pointers. They've hit seven. As USF is not communicating running back. Patel for Whaley. Off the backboard. There by Whaley. Huskies run off the miss three. Patel, no one picked him up, and he drains another three. Up there and ripped away by Wilson. Patel again, yes! Unreal, Christian Patel is four for four. Adams, how tough is that? Freshman for USF. Now they got to bear down defensively. Oh, what a shot from Adams. Holly for three. Got it. So they kind of saved him because of the leg injury. And he's getting up and now miscommunication. Hey, coach, when a player like this all of a sudden is having an afternoon with eight points. You got to find him. That's easy money right there, though. All he did was roll to the basket and nobody near him. That's clearly a mistake on defense, but good offense by Jalen Adams and Whaley. Following us, we've got number five, Memphis, and number 12, Tulane. Hometown team in action. Adams to the hole. 15 today for the Huskies. Polly, a long three. He'll try it again. That one's good. That's a tough one. Another offensive rebound. You've been calling it, Coach. Brown here with a couple opportunities, at least. That's a good job by Cobb. He's only got three blocks on the entire season, but he got himself back, and then UConn's back. Yeah, because USF has picked up the pace on defense. The intensity's there, and not really pretty right now, but they're finding a way to get to the rim. Exactly right. Cobb to the towel. Turnover, UConn. Run of the break, Collins. Oh, he got blocked. What a play from Sidney Wilson. Close, it looked like. Watch Wilson here. He elevates over the top. What's a great athletic play without fouling. This game, and we need a couple threes or a couple transition baskets just to loosen up the defense. Adam. 
Holmes got it. There's a foul. The tip in occurred first. Here you see on the, the little runner, and Adams follows his shot. Gets tipped in. I'm not even sure if it was tipped in by a USF player. Yeah. Corey USF showing a little 2 3 zone just to change up the pace. Vital, and no change here from UConn. Another three. USF has a big advantage at the guard spot. They have to take advantage of redo on the perimeter and defensively cheap towards Vital in this zone. Yeah, got to bear down on this defensive end here. Vital for three. Does it again. Six point game. Block, charge. Not sure, but it was something. Something, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good job, little trap. Smith breaking the trap. What do they do? Three on one. Wilson. He finishes. Rito with 1.9 to go, and that's going to be it. 80 to 73, the final. The Yukon Huskies advance with a seven point win over the USF Bulls to move on to the quarterfinals.